Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how easy it is to do a clothes swap now thanks to the all new Gemini 2 Flash AI Image Editor by Google. The links to all the tools and the images that you're going to be seeing in this tutorial are given in the description. So let's get started. The first thing you'll have to do is to go over to Google AI Studio, log into your Google account, and this is completely free to use. Make sure on the model Gemini 2 flash image generation experimental is selected and under the output format, images and text is selected. Then you're gonna just go down here, hit this plus button and let's upload the image that we will be using for this clothes swapping tutorial. And the moment we do that, we get this place to type in the prompt. So let's type in something like, change the clothes to a red leather suit. And let's run this and let's see the results. Right, so you can see that that has done instantly a pretty good job. Now, one thing I have observed with this model is that sometimes it can just change the shape of the body a bit and therefore the head and the body proportions can look a bit off. So usually when I do this, what I would probably like to do is just type in an additional line, which is, so change it to this, make sure the head and body shape do not change. Instead, And in fact, we should not be using it here because then it might not actually apply it to this particular image. We wanna apply this to original. So what we're gonna do is we can just delete this, delete this prompt also and just start things all over. And let's just hit run again. And you can see that this time the overall pose, the shape of the body, I think this just looks much better. Now the best part is I can change it to anything I want further. So let's say I can type in here, make the suit look more formal. And you can see that now the suit has a much more formal look. I can even change her pose. So maybe I can type in her arms should be folded. And let's run this. And you can see that that has done a pretty good job if we slightly open this up. Of course, the image quality isn't gonna look that great. That's not such a big problem. The main thing here is that we've got the new clothes. The image quality can easily be improved using some other free AI tools like I'm soon gonna be showing you. But you can see that here you can get any sort of requests fulfilled almost like you had an editor working for you. Now, one important thing that I have observed with this model is that when you start taking the approach like this, that you're slowly giving it prompts and then you're changing things, it definitely works, but it also keeps on making the image quality worse. So the more the amount of times you do this, the worse the image gets. Let me show you an example of this. For example, I was trying the same, something similar with this particular image also. And what I was doing here was with each prompt, I was trying to change one particular aspect in this image. For example, the first prompt was like, change the bed, make it look much better. Then I was like, change this part of the furniture, change the uh, outdoor to something more scenic, change how the ceiling looks. It kept on giving me the results, but let me show you after doing this for around five, six times and altering this image, what kind of a final image output I got after those five, six edits. You can see that this was absolutely poor. This not even most of the creative AI upscalers out there could redeem this image. So it does get poor. So the solution for this is to first of all, think what is your ultimate objective of editing the image and then try to incorporate as many elements as possible within that first prompt itself. Now that we have seen this, we're going to move on and take on a more tougher challenge because what we're going to do is we're going to use the same image, but this time, we're not just gonna change the clothes by writing a prompt. We will actually use an image of a particular suit that we have that you can see in front of you. And we're gonna get her to wear this. So let's see how to do this. So whenever you're usually in Gemini 2, starting a completely new objective, it's always a good idea to just clear the chat and start completely fresh. So again, we're gonna upload first of all this particular image. And now one very important thing. This time, it's not just about one image. Remember, we will also be adding the image of the clothes. Now, here's the thing. Remember, anytime you upload this image, you get this area to type in a prompt. Last time, we just started off by typing in the prompt here. Now, here's the thing. If I just leave this empty and right now I hit run, thinking that it won't do anything because I just want the image to come in the interface, no. Because even if I leave the prompt window empty right now and I hit run, it is gonna produce some changes to the image and then append it to the interface. We don't want that. We want this image to be unchanged because we have another image to first of all attach and then we wanna create a composite. So what you do here is, if you just hover over this run button, 
Just see the second line which says Alt or Option plus the Enter key append text without running. This is what we have to do. So what we need to do here is Alt Option plus Enter. And this time you can see that this image has come here without any changes. We're going to do the similar thing with the second image. Again, Alt Option plus Enter. And now we're going to write in our prompt here. All right, so you can see this is the prompt I use. Blend the two images in such a way that the woman in the first image is wearing the clothes from the second image. And you can see that this is pretty flawless. And just like last time, I experimented by changing the different poses, making the arms fold and all these things. And this was a result that I really, really liked. I even changed the color of the shirts and all. So you can experiment with all this. But now the bottom line is that I had two images which had the different clothes, but the image quality wasn't that great. So this is the time where we move on to the next step where we're going to increase the image quality also using some free tools. So in order to improve the image quality here, we're going to perform two steps. The first step is going to take place inside Focus AI, which works with the Stable Diffusion AI Image Generator. This is completely free to use. It takes less than 60 seconds to set this up. If you don't know how to do that, the link to the setup video is given in the description. You can follow that. And once you are seeing this interface, we're going to hit input image. Then we are going to go to the in paint or out paint tab. And let's upload that first red leather suit image here. And I've also given you these images so that you can also just directly follow along. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we basically need to avoid the face here because that's something we don't want to run through an AI generator right now that's going to uh, change the face if we try to improve the details. But the rest of the parts of the dress and the body we can be fairly liberal with. So what we're going to do is we need a way to protect her face. So in the in paint or out paint tab, you can see some of the shortcuts here. If we use the control command key and the wheel, we can change the masking size brush. And what we need to do is we need to protect her face from whatever changes we're going to make to this image. So what we can do is we can just mask her face out. And then we can hit this option that says enable advanced masking features. And just make sure you select this option that says invert mask when generating so that when we do generate this new image, we're basically telling it to work everywhere apart from the area that we've painted on, which is the face. So the face will remain unchanged. Everything will improve in the quality. And later on, we'll also be doing a face swap, which will take care of the face itself. And here in the in painting method, we're going to select improve details since we don't want to make any aggressive changes. We just want to make this sharper and look better. So in the in paint additional prompt, we can type in improve details. And finally, once we've done that, just one more thing, go to the advanced tab here and make sure you select performance as quality so we get the best image. We, one image should be fine, we don't need more than that. And under output format, we're gonna select JPEG. We are all set, we're gonna hit generate and let's wait for the result here. All right, so our image is ready. If we just open this up, you can see now the details look absolutely amazing. The only thing now we need to worry about is the face. For this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically use a free AI face swapper, which is the remaker.ai face swapping tool. We're gonna to upload both the images here, the original and the target face, so let's do that. All right, so we have added both the images here. Let's hit swap and let's wait for the results. Our image is now ready. Let's hit download and let's observe the face along with the rest of the things. And now you can see that this is pretty much perfect. Sometimes because you're doing so many things with the different AI tools, you can have a bit of the issues in the fingers. If you're noticing this, a very common issue with AI, you can check out the video which is hovering on top. This is where I explain how to correct fingers and hands in AI generated images. I'll also leave the link to that video in the description. But overall, you can see that this looks really nice. And even with the second image, this was what we got out of Gemini. Then I put it through focus and this was the result. Everything improved, but just like last time, the face still wasn't good. And then finally, I did the face swap and we got the final image for the blue suit image also. So you can see that in a completely free way, we are able to perform this clothes swap very, very quickly. I'm doing a lot of experiments with Gemini AI Editor. And in case you want to follow along all these experiments, make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do not forget to give it a like. And I will see you next time.